Hey everybody, so going to do a little bit of a different video today and I'm going to speak a little bit on animal communication because I definitely wouldn't be where I am now without the help of animal communication and learning all about it. So I'm just going to explain a little bit of what animal communication is and just one little thing that you can take in mind when you are with your horse um, and how it will help you. So pretty much um, animal communication is uh, telepathy um, thoughts with an animal. Um, and having that communication stream on that level because that's how um, majority, well, that's how animals do communicate with each other. It's the oldest um, language in the universe and it's the quickest form of um, communication. So that's why animals need it. And it's um, the primary um, language that they all use. And it's, it's pretty much the universal language of animals. Um, so when we start to define what um, that is, telepathy and that, and that's just now bringing it back down to a scientific level of um, what our thoughts are. Now our thoughts are energy. So once again, coming back to a very scientific level, we come and understand that energy is um, in science terms, either potential energy or kinetic energy. Um, now, I'm not going to get all sciencey on you because I will just confuse you all. So I want you to sort of just understand that energy is um, available in a massive range of different forms. OK, so, for example, we've got thermal energy, heat energy, we've got light energy. Um, there is a huge amount of different forms of energy and in um, our scientific wor uh, world, science actually can't define exactly what energy is. So this helps you to try and understand how complex um, like telepathy and that is because science can't define the, um, the basis for all this is. But in the spiritual world, we understand that energy is at the um, basic form is consciousness. Okay, so consciousness is um, what is defined as energy. Now, consciousness is um, a, our form of of being um, in a, a stream. So, I want you to also understand this. Um, it's a a flowing, ever changing um, formation. Okay, um, and we can't see it. This is where also um, trying to define what consciousness is. Once again, science can't exactly define what that is either. So, like I said, on the spiritual level, um, we're, we are working with consciousness. But I think to make these really simple, um, I don't want to get really technical on you guys. I want to make it as simple as possible and get you to understand we all have mobile phones or we all have listened to the radio. Um, so when we're thinking of understanding, um, like thought telepathy with animals, I want you to think of picking up your mobile phone, dialing a number and that trans, um, that transceiver going to the person, um, on the other end to pick up and receive and being able to talk. You're not in the same room. You're not there physically. Um, and this is how animal telepathy works. You do not have to be in the same space and time. You can be um, in the other side of the world and still have a conversation. And that's um, how it all works. Um, the, the stream of what we flow into with, like when I come back to the word consciousness, is a frequency of that animal and we have a frequency ourselves. So the um, term um, of getting understanding and you've all heard of like vibrations and frequency and like raising your va vibration to be on a um, higher frequency. And this is coming back to, I did a little um, video on the levels of consciousness, which explain the different levels of emotions that put us into different frequencies. Um, so feel free to go back and have a look at that little video and it will explain the um, different levels of um, vibrations that we can um, 
be at levels. Now, why you need to understand that is because the simple terms of animal communication is we are pretty much dialing a number um, to connect in with the animal. Then when we have received the, the pickup, okay, because that's the other thing that's important when we do animal communication, that we get um, the receiving of um, the hello as such. Um, in this case, it becomes uh, a question of, are you allowing me to connect in with you? And it's a, just a simple intention. Um, and animals will say yes or no, and it's very clear. Um, and then we can go into a, um, a connection type. Now, I teach two different connection types. Um, for humans, it's really important that we have a sequence to be able to um, connect in clearly. And that's why um, I always um, don't approach communication as just trying to tell, be tell, telepathic with an animal as such, okay? There is a process of connection because what we need to achieve is clear communication. Now, we've all heard a radio frequency when it's not at the right setting and you get all the static, okay? And that's what I mean with achieving a clear communication um, sequence or, or frequency. Um, so understanding that um, then when we get the connection, we can then go into um, having a communication or a, um, asking questions or whatever we need to find out or them responding to um, something that they need to let us know about. Um, and then we, from that information, we can then go and um, help the animal, help the, the owner of the animal. And then this is where it comes back to uh, what I would love to just help guide you with is um, the intention. Um, so I really think um, setting intentions is a really simple form of helping you communicate with your animal um, without actually learning full animal communication. I'm not expecting you to learn the whole type of connection techniques, which um, I think for every um, animal owner, it's now I would highly recommend it. It's like I said, I wouldn't be where I am um, in life and with um, the amazing things that I can do to help animals. Um, so it's definitely a benefit to learn it. Um, but yeah, coming back to setting um, your intention, uh, very simply uh, going into a session with your horse um, in training will definitely help your um, training session. Now, intentions, um, they determine an outcome of what we're trying to achieve pretty much. So they're like closely related to like your aims, objectives, visions, goals, dreams, purpose, and help design a plan. So this is why um, setting a positive intention is really good and a simple way for your animal to have clear communication in your training session. Um, and for uh, an example, um, a simple intention that you could set for a training session would be, I would just really would love to go out and have fun and learn together. Very powerful, something really simple that your animal can understand, um, that you give clarity and you're setting the intention with positive energy because we can set intentions, but they can have like a positive um, emotion attached to it or a negative emotion attached to it. Um, and I'll just give you an example of um, something that's not so great. So for example, um, if I set the intention that I want to jump a really big bridalist jump, for example, okay? Now, is my intention for that to show off, okay? It's not going to be a positive intention. It's going to be an ego-driven um, intention. So the animal is going to understand that it's not benefiting them in a, in a good way. So eventually, um, or even in that session, um, they will not react positively to it. So I might, you know, they might refuse the jump or, you know, put, put, um, put me back down from an ego driven um, way. So, cause it will try and balance out any negative intentions, if that makes sense. 
Um, so if I came for a place that I really want to be, jump a mess, a great big bridalist jump because I really want to show the world that we can have an amazing relationship with our animals and by being able to do this, um, it's going to help a lot of people um, with their beautiful connections with their horses in a positive way. So you can see the difference in the intention um, compared to um, the first one that I gave an example of. Um, so that's why it's really um, a simple way to have um, an animal communication with your horse in a training session that's going to have a really positive um, um, outcome for you guys um, without obviously having to learn a full, um, full connection of what animal communication is. However, if you are keen, obviously I'm doing that now with my mentorships and I've had some amazing feedback. So I would love to have you on board um, to learn more about this because like I said, it has been one of the biggest, um, most rewarding things I've ever learned in my life. And um, being able to share that and help animals in a really positive way is only going to um, help, you know, all our friends and our um, the people that we meet um, in a really positive, um, yeah, in a positive way is what I'm going to say. So I hope that has been um, helpful on a little bit of animal communication for you guys. And yeah, um, just start with something basic like sending your intention with your horse in a training session.